If you guys need help using the MPC software, I now offer live video help sessions via Skype. I cover everything from how to sample inside of the MPC software easily to how to make your own beats from scratch. I also offer help on constructing, arranging, and mixing your own full tracks. So check the link in the video description, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. What's up, guys? This is your boy, DZD, a.k.a. The Drink King, Purple World Entertainment, live from the Dungeon Palace Studios once again. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you guys for clicking on this video. Thank you guys for supporting the channel like you do. I believe we are around in, what, uh, 4,500 subscribers, something like that. We're almost there. So let's get it. Keep clicking that subscribe button. Keep clicking that bell notification. That way you guys can stay updated when I drop content just like this. I'm going to get into a nice little tip for you guys. This is just something that I kind of came up with on my own just from working with the MPC software a lot. So I'm going to share with you guys. This is a beautiful way to make some nice melodies very, very quickly and have a lot of help doing it. Now, we all know the pad perform mode can be absolutely amazing because it puts the MPC in a mode to where you can't hit wrong notes. But you can use that to upgrade your game and kind of get helpers to where you can make beats very quickly and you can make melodies sound very, very nice. So I'm going to show you this little small tip. It's really, really simple, but it's something that you may overlook when using the pad perform mode. So I'm really excited to show this to you guys. It's something that helps me out a lot. So let's dive inside the MPC software and let's make this beat. Let's do it. All right, we are live inside the MPC software and I'm going to take you through this nice little melody hack. It's very, very simple. Um, just try and follow it and I can guarantee you that you'll pick it up. This can happen in any software and not just the NPC software once you pick up the concept of what's being done here. So check it out. I'm going to dive right into it. Um, what I have here is just uh, the Electra X preset is the keys, Desert View. This is a nice uh, piano that I use when I want to drop some nice piano chords on something to still have a nice uh, airy feel. So check it out. That's the sound. And then what I do is I put it in chords. That's the first thing. You put it in chords. Okay. So now it's in chords. This is the trick. What you do is you see if you can find two pads that match. So let's see if we can do that. Okay, that matches. That doesn't match. That matches. That matches. You can tell by the way the sound. The sound is going to blend together. You'll be able to tell when it's off, but you'll be able to blend the sounds together. So the reason why we want to find two pads is simply because if we use one pad, then it's going to give us three notes, a one, three, five. But if we use two pads, it's going to stack some chords up to where we now have helpers right on the screen. We have some chord, we have some notes that are right on the screen. But let me show you what I mean. We're going to lay down some simple chords and then we'll go from there. Now, we have six different notes that are on the screen for each chord, and they're laid out nice. So this is what I mean by now you have helpers on the screen. Just like in FL Studio or in Ableton, now you have helpers inside right on the screen to help you out with the notes. So this is what I usually do. What I do is I'll take these bottom notes here, and I'll leave them the way they are, but I'll work with these top notes right here and kind of shift them around to see if I can make a melody because I have helpers now. I have three helpers there that I can do whatever I want with. So check out what I mean. I'm saying now we just made this little melody just by shifting these notes around now what i do is i go ahead on and highlight these notes here and delete them then i duplicate these here bring them over with the arrow key but check out my new melody Now, once you get something rolling that's simple like this, you just was able to create some nice chords and a nice melody just by shifting these notes around. And you did it all in one shot because you had helpers, you had stack, stacks of notes that you can kind of just follow along to help you out. 
So now what you can do is you can go to the next track and you can drop another instrument on it. Okay, so I'm gonna do control and right back, right bracket. Just for you guys that don't know, that's a nice uh, shortcut. I don't know if you guys know that or not, but if you can hold control and use the right, right uh, and left brackets, you can move from track to track very quickly. So we're in track three right now, and I have the Avenger VST pulled up. Um, in the Avenger VST, I like to use this piano here. It's a really, really nice piano. So we're gonna use this to complement the chords, but instead of the same octave, we're gonna go on, on higher octave, and we're gonna put it in notes. Now we can lay a nice melody on top of those chords. Let's do it. Nice, nice, nice. Let's go back to the second track, and we're going to drop an EQ over here just to kind of clear out some of that to space these sounds out. Let's do that. So now we made this track a little bland, and then now the melody pops out in uh, track three. This nice melody pops out. So now you can see you have a nice melody that's running already, and we just had the helpers to start us off with. That's what we got started with, and we did it very quickly because we were able to stack all of those notes up and have some helpers to where we can follow. So that's the trick. It's a very, very simple trick. Just stack your notes up, and you can go as much as this. You can add another pad onto it if you want. But just stack your notes up. That way you have helpers. You can make some into chords, and then you have helpers up here to where you can just shift them around and kind of see what fits with a nice melody. And you can change it however you want, just your taste, your preference on how you want the melody to go. We just did something very simple here with these notes, these top notes, and shifted them around. But let's keep building the track now that we have something solid. Let's do it. Normally, I don't drop the 808 first before the drums, but let's go ahead on and drop the 808. Let's do it. A simple drum kit pulled up here.
so let's go to track five now and then we're gonna i have the electro preset pulled up again it's the pad this is a dramatic pad that i use it's kind of like a dramatic pad it kind of increases the presence of the chorus so that's what i use it for if i want to drop a chorus on something make the beat kind of live so we're going to use it for that let's see if we can drop something And there you have it guys that's a nice little starter beat we did it very quickly we used the helpers so i hope this technique helps anyone out there that uh has trouble making melodies or just wanted a new way of making melodies because this certainly has increased my workflow it has helped me out a lot so i hope you guys enjoyed it and benefit from it there you have it guys that's just a small tip for you guys it's just something that really really helps me out a lot as you can see it's a very simple method to stack chords up and use those nice notes as bottom notes and also use those top notes as the melody notes. You have helpers on the screen simply because you have a whole lot of notes to work with that are in your chord progression. So that's something that just really, really helped me out and I hope it benefited you guys. If it did, please, by all means, smash that like button, drop a comment below. Let me know how helpful you found this tip to you so I can keep bringing you little tips just like this. I just wanna let you guys know that I do have a project kit that is coming. I know you guys enjoyed the last one that I did when I dropped full projects inside of a sound kit, something that you can kind of see how I make my beats and have the sounds and stems. So I am working on a full kit project for you guys the name of the kit is called the hit list make sure you guys subscribe to my website that way you guys can make sure that you get it firsthand as soon as it drops if you have any questions about anything the best way to contact me is on instagram please follow me at the drink king shoot me a dm and i'll try and get back to you as soon as i can this is the kid dzd aka the drink king live from the dungeon palace studios once again and i will check you guys in the next video deuces